Capcom presents. In the year... Do we really not know what year it is still? Good lord. Come on, guys. You've been making games for what? Several years? And you still haven't figured out what year it is? Ridiculous, man. Proto man, come on man, can you make up your mind already? Are you a good guy or a bad guy because it's getting old? Anyway, just as promised, we are leaping right into Mega Man 5. Now this is said to be the easiest game in the original Hexology, although I'm kind of debating on that because honestly I still have problems with parts of Mega Man 5, particularly in Gyro Man and Crystal Man stages. Just, I, I don't know. A lot of people, I don't know. I don't know where I was going with that. Anyway, once again, we have a Robot Masters, because of course we do. And this time it's not really a surprise what order I'm going with. I'm just going to go with the traditional weakness order, and we're going to start with Gravity Man. Now let me tell you, Mega Man 5's music is fucking fantastic. Like, compared to Mega Man 4, which had an alright soundtrack, I didn't really talk about it because... War soundtrack is honestly kind of my least favorite out of the original six, but fives, on the other hand, is fucking great. I love Mega Man 5 soundtrack. I love how it looks. I love this game just so much. I love five. Like a lot of people really don't give five a lot of respect. They just consider it like the weird easy one. And then a lot of people just kind of forget about Mega Man 6 because you know Mega Man X was out at the time, so. I just kind of forgot it existed. But 5 is just like the last one people really kind of thought about for a while. Man, I tell ya, it feels good to be able to charge up my buster shots so much easier, and they are so much better in this game. Because as you saw there, my buster shot is so much bigger. However, there is a major downside to this improved Mega Buster. The downside being that if you take one hit, you lose your charge. That's really the only downside to this upgrade, but honestly, I think that adds to a bit of the challenge because in 4, you could hold on to a shot and it was fine, but in 5, you had to be a bit more conservative with how you use your Mega Buster shot. Anyway, here's the signature giant robot that must always be in a Mega Man game. Isn't he or does he seem tougher than some of the previous ones? Like, good lord. Guy's a fucking guts man fanboy, I tell ya. This is some interesting music we have going on here in the Gravity Man stage. And man, I needed that. That that was great. Ah, oh, man. I don't know how long this playthrough is going to be, but considering that four lasted, like, four parts, I'm expecting five to last in only four parts. Five at max, because... Oh, God. Got the signature small enemies that must always be in a Mega Man game, too. God. It seems like there are always certain types of enemies that always show up in Mega Man games. The pod enemies that are hard to hit... The giant enemies, they're just there to be annoying. The guns, gotta have the guns, the Sniper Joes. And of course, the Mets. There's, you know, you gotta have those Metars because they're just cute. Yeah, as you saw there, Gravity Man canceled out my charge shot, so. Like I said, something you gotta be weary of whenever you're dealing with the Robot Masters, so, anyway. I'm taking a few pot shots off of Gravity Man when I really shouldn't. He's not really that hard. But like I said, it's always harder to kind of talk and play the game. Like, a lot of people kind of don't realize that. 
And I found this very interesting, that his power is literally the ability to manipulate gravity. That's kind of interesting. But he is dead. The first of the Robot Masters is gone. And once again, we finally get a sound effect. Yes. Well, it's not quite as impressive as, you know, Mega Man's awesome rotating head in Mega Man 4. I mean, this is pretty good, too. It kind of reminds me of Mega Man 9 a little bit. I wonder if they took a little bit of inspiration. Anyway, no death in that stage. Although I'm expecting plenty in this one. Gyroman stage is... God, it sucks. I mean, Gyro Man himself is not really all that bad, but it's a section of the stage that I'm really worried about. Because it involves rising platforms. And spikes. Lots and lots of spikes. And you gotta move real quickly, otherwise you're gonna die. Man, look at this graphical fidelity. Like, good lord, Capcom. Showing off much? Showing, basically saying, hey, Nintendo. While you're off playing with your Super Nintendo, we're just showing off now. Anyway, these shield fucks here are, of course, vulnerable to your charge shot, so just take advantage of it. Gotta wait here, wait for him to open up, and there we go. And I'm getting lots of energy refills, but I'm not getting any, like, health refills. I haven't even used any of my fucking weapons yet, so... Oh god, these things. These things are annoying. This is where the gravity hold will come quite in handy, let me tell ya. You might slide on in here. And get yourself an extra life. And if you really need to, this is a pretty good place to farm for health and stuff, but... And I'm just trying to get a move on here, so let's go ahead and charge shot our way through. Get rid of that pin there. Now let's go ahead and use the gravity hold so that we're not dealing with this bastard of the week. Now don't use too much of it, because of course this is the weakness of Gyro Man, so... You don't want to waste too much of your weapon. Because that would be stupid. Eh... I didn't mean to jump over those, but I'm happy I did. I meant to shoot them, but... What ups? I don't mind. I don't want more of the signature shooter enemies that must always be in a Mega Man game. Oh god, this thing again. Dude, leave me alone! Man, he takes a wall up. He is so irritating. I don't like him. Anyway, watch out for these things, because they're going to try to dive bomb on you. But as you saw back in uh, Gravity Man stage, we have a new collectible in the form of those letters there. You collect all of them, and you unlock Beat. Also, first death. You know what? That's fair. If I was going to die in any part of the stage, it was going to be this one. And to be honest, I always do it on purpose so that, you know, these guys don't take me out. And if not there, then it's going to be in this section. This is the part I was talking about earlier. you got to be really quick with your jumps, and you got to avoid the spikes. So you got to do, like, really small jumps. Basically just little hops. Otherwise, you're just going to ram right into the spikes. Sometimes it might actually be smarter just to slide. Also, the charge shot, I forgot to mention, charges a lot faster in this game, so... There is that. I'm gonna watch out for the dive-bombing dudes there. Alright. Yeah, I think that was my fault. I think I jumped a little too soon. There we go. There we go. See, I prefer jumping rather than sliding, because sliding has a high chance of failure, in my experience. So I just, I don't know, I feel more comfortable just jumping. 
Ah, god. These things are annoying too. There's so many annoying enemies in this game. I don't even know what I would call these things. Satellites? I don't know. This guy right here would be a good place to farm, so... Anyway, well, that was nice of them. I'm probably gonna die to Gyro Man, but I really don't care. I mean, look at that. We already have three lives, so we can waste them. How you doing, Gyro Man? Alright, gotta watch out for his gyro attack there. Because it almost always will target where you're at, so... Watch out. Anyway, we're already out of gyro or gravity hold there. Oh, and he got me. No, well, you know what? I'm not even that mad. Because like I said, we have plenty of extra lives, so... It's fun. We'll just fight him mono a mono. Ah oh, man, I missed. Bastard jumped out of the way. That was just rude. I mean, get back here. Also, why is your health bar red? You're green. So talk about identifying us an attack helicopter. You remember that meme from like years ago that many people just kept... Damn it. Apparently he didn't like my joke. Anyway, remember that meme that people were talking about years ago about gender identity in attack helicopters. It was fucking stupid. I didn't like it. There you go. Apparently Gyro Man did. Man. very interesting music they have going on here. Like, when I think Mega Man boss music, this is one of the first ones I think of. Mm. I didn't say slide, Mega Man! Come on, come on. Man, my finger is fucking hurting. Bye-bye! Poof! -bye. Well, there you go. I got both my deaths in for both stages, so there you go. They have made up for it. Now charge it up! Yeah, maybe I should have held back on doing Mega Man 5 right after Mega Man 4, because, God, my hand hurts. <clears throat> it's the only thing I really don't like about 2D games is that I really have to hold down on the D-pad. It hurts like hell. Anyway, Crystal Man. He really doesn't like scientists, which means I don't like this guy. Because scientists are awesome. If it wasn't for a scientist, you wouldn't have been born, sir. This is a very beautiful stage. Kind of reminds me of Patropia from Ben 10. Of course I would think of Ben 10. Oh god. More of those type enemies. Hey, we're just seeing all kinds of familiar type enemies in this game. Also, I really like those things. Unfortunately, we don't have a gyro or a, an attack to freeze time, so that... You know, let's jump right there. Wait, can you shoot those things? Yeah, you gotta be real careful here, because a bad move and the crystal hits you and you're falling into the pit. There we go. Man, this part makes me so nervous. There we go. Very, like I said, very beautiful stage. Really? Weapon energy, dude? You suck. Also, of course, you got Sniper Joe, yay. He's about as useless as he was before. There we go. Now this time, we gotta be real careful, because now we have Sniper Joe waiting for us, or in this case, Crystal Joe. There we go. I find that small hops really help, rather than big leaps. There we go. Yeah, well, look at that. 
Isn't he special? He's just cleaning the floors, man. Just trying to mind his business, and Mega Man just shoots him. How rude. Oh, well, thank you! Oh, great. The shield enemies from Mega Man 4. I love these things so much. Apparently Capcom did, too, because they keep bringing this asshole back. Yeah, well, skull droppers. We know who made those. Alright, now get ready, because we're about to reach the part where... Well, I was going to say the beat letter was. Also, I did not show you what Rush Jet looks like, or Rush Coil looks like in this game. It's weird, I don't like it. <laughs> there we go. I don't know why you wouldn't fucking jump up there. Okay, well, let's go ahead and charge up real fast. Try to make sure that mouse you. He's dead now. There we go. Anyway, what we got there was an M-Tank. It's essentially an E-Tank that also fills up, um, what you call it? Weapon energy! Good lord, man, I am brain farting today. I'm fucking recording? Seriously? Good lord. God, I hate these little, I don't know, I don't know what you would call them. Anyway, this guy can't hurt you as long as you stay far to the left side of the screen here. He's just gonna keep hopping like an idiot. Because he is an idiot, because he's a Chad. I mean, apologies to anybody named Chad, but... Yeah, there we go. Now he's dead. Well, let's go ahead and use that E-Tank there, and man, that's a lot better than in Mega Man 4. It charges up so fast. Let's slide on in. Let's get ready for Crystal Man. You know what? I bet he's one of those climate change deniers. Dude! I thought say get off! Oh well, he stepped on me. That was mean. It was my own fault. Gyro attack's a little weird to aim, in my opinion. Like, it's super weird to aim. Because it's powerful, don't get me wrong, but... I mean, think about it, it's a helicopter blade, but... It's pretty tricky just to get it to aim where you want it to, so... I find that if you jump, then shoot it you tend to have a much easier time aiming it, rather than just trying to direct it. And again, I find that just more useful with most weapons. Man, I'm sniffly. This is crazy. Anyway, we got the Crystal Eye, which is a fantastic name for an attack. Alright, last robot of the video, Napalm Man. One of the coolest looking robot masters, and actually a robot that actually got it banned in a country. I think it was actually Thailand. And it was because they mentioned Napalm. Which is funny because this was the last Mega Man game released for the NES in Europe, which I find hilarious. Yeah, these tiger enemies, ugh. I like cats, but god, these tigers are annoying. They're even worse than fucking Proto Man's Fortress. Because look at that, he just sits there, he waits on you, and then he charges at you. Little bastard. And there you go, there's the signature Metar enemies that must always be in a Mega Man game. Now this part right here, you're going to have things coming towards you, so you need to have your buster charged at all times. Which is probably why it actually charges faster in this game. Because you have to dodge these things so much faster than before. We're going to climb up here. And you grab yourself an E-Tank. Can you tell I played this game a lot? Actually, he played so many of these games on the PlayStation 2 via the collection. 
like the original anniversary collection. So I'm tired of these Sniper Joes. Sniper Helis, if you will. Or at least traffic cone dudes. Bye bye. Please give me something. Thank you. Your assistance was quite helpful, Eddie. Oh great, the other large robot that must always be in a Mega Man game. Oh, crap. Don't make fine, I'll use an E-tank. Yeah, I forgot you have to aim it at the top of the fucking robot. See, this is where that uh slower charge up or the get hit and lose your charge thing gets really obnoxious when you have to deal with robots like that one. But fortunately he's dead now, so anyway, grab the end icon. Thank you! Man, look at that. Handing out lives. I appreciate that. And he was just so nice as to guard the life for me. Oh, he was so nice. Also, these things remind me of the Dust Crusher. I don't know. Anybody else? You again? Can you just die? Yeah, you gotta watch out for these missiles here, because they can do quite a bit of punishment to you, as you can see. Alright, I think more of them are on their way, so... Yeah, watch out for these things. These are the signature pit enemy of the game, so... Just watch your step. I mean, they're not hard to dodge by any means, because they're not gonna keep popping out... ...like, one after another, unlike last time, but anyway. Now it's time for Napalm Man. You're gonna want the Crystal Eye this time. Not the Gyro Attack! I didn't mean to quit the gyro attack. Alright. Alright, I really don't want to have to do this, but uh, I don't want to have to deal with him again. See, this is why they created these tanks. Alright. The residue, I think, does less damage. But at the same time... I mean, that's a few additional hits you're going to be getting on him, too, so... Pick your poison. Crystal Eye is awesome. That, that's the moral of the story, right? I was just scared of dying there. I just kind of forgot what I was talking about. Man, I got the burps like crazy. Now we got the Napalm Bomb. Excellent. All right, and that clears out, well, a whole half of the screen here. So, next time we meet... Bye. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. No, we're going to be facing off Stone Man. Bye. Now it's bye. Bye!